Hello boys and girls, I'm now going to show you how to start moving your boat and changing your backgrounds. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your boat has a starting position. Now I've already coded my characters to go to the boat, so they're going to be moving with it. So there's two ways you can do it. You can say move and figure out how many times you need it to move and do it in a repeat. Um, but I like to do a glide because it looks like it's a little bit more moving. So I put it in the starting position and then I just going to move it a little bit and then glide to the new spot. Move it a little bit, glide to a new spot. So that way you're not moving directly in a straight line so um, like you would with a move. So and then once you get to this part, once you kind of get to the edge, then you're going to say switch the backdrop. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to say switch the backdrop to and then where do I want to go first. So I'm going to say the boardwalk. And so now when this happens, this is the tricky part. So now watch. Oh, all the numbers stayed the same. Okay, let's try that again. So let's go back over here. So if that stays the same, that means they're not moving. So we moved here for just a little bit, moved it over, and I'm gonna go back to motions, and it should change, oh, there we go. So now it goes here, and now we're going to, so if you did what I did and accidentally put the same numbers, you just have to debug that a little bit and come back and fix it because if you have all the same numbers then they won't go anywhere it's kind of they'll just stay in the exact same spot so it is okay if you have to debug like I did so now you're going to so now let's test that out so you now see it's like it's moving so it's not like a straight line and I think I wanted to go one more and I could speed this up so it's not quite so slow. So I could change all of these to a 0.5. So now it's, it's going a little bit faster. And you see his boots are kind of showing a little bit, so I might want to adjust him in the costume again. Okay, so now he goes here. So now I'm going to go to my looks, and I'm going to say switch the backdrop and then I choose which backdrop I want. So now I switch the boardwalk. So let's look what that looks like. Okay, so now you see it's in a different boardwalk, but it didn't start at the sunset. So let's try switch the backdrop at the very beginning here to the sunset. So we want to make sure we have our starting so now we're at the boardwalk. I don't want to be at the end of the page anymore. I want it to come back over here. So I am going to add a go to, not a glide this time, because I want it just to kind of happen automatically to this new position. And then I'm going to do this same thing over and over and over again until I get to my final destination where the treasure would be. So you could say glide, glide, so you move it, switch backdrops, go to the new location. Okay, so you, and then you can go to as many locations as you want. You can travel, and if uh, you could add um, other things in the background, maybe clouds floating by. There's other things you could do as they are sailing. But basically, your boat is just going. You do move it, pull out your glide. Move it, pull out your glide move it, pull out your glide. Okay, and then you're ready. So then it's going to be looking like it is ready. So you get to decide where it goes and how it moves. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to have the characters talk.